Hello, it's Icy. I'm back with something about an upcoming DLC for Elder Scrolls Online, but not Update 13 Homestead. This is hopefully Update maybe 14, hopefully called Vardenfell. Now, Vardenfell is the name of the island that the third Elder Scrolls game, Morrowind, was mostly set on, and it's my where my love of Elder Scrolls started. I played Morrowind for hundreds of hours. I love that game dearly, 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 dearly. Nothing will ever beat it. It is not a game, however, you can really go back to. <laughs> the stories are great. The landscape is fantastic. Um, it's such an interesting place, but... Um, it has the disadvantage of being a very old game with some seriously awkward game systems compared to modern games. So, um, it looks like possibly for the 15th anniversary, which is in May 2017, they might be bringing Elder Scrolls to Vardenfell. Now this is, I think, this is many, many years prior to the events of Morrowind, um, so this is like a long time before any of the events uh, happen in Morrowind uh, at all, so that'll be interesting as well. But an enterprising Redditor um, has discovered um, by data mining the game engine for the current PTS, discovered a whole heap of development maps with lots of interesting things. This is the island of Vardenfell. Uh, this is um, Stonefalls, which is part of Morrowind. Um, so it's basically right across the water. Um, one of the expansions of Morrowind was actually set uh, in Ebonheart, uh, just inside the city, which is considerably bigger, obviously, for just being an expansion, not the little city is now. Um, this island up here is Solstheim, which is also kind of part of Morrowind, also sort of part of the Nordish lands as well. There's a bit of fighting going on there as well. So, actually no, that might be Solstheim there. <gasps> my geek cred! Oh my god! I'm not sure. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know which one is. Oh, I feel terrible now! Oh well. Um, <laughs> so, um, so apparently uh, I will add links below uh, where you can go and check this out yourself. Um, so you can zoom in apparently in the map to see Sejanine, uh, which is the starting town, not really a city. Um, apparently there is the Vivek, hopefully with the Canton buildings. I loved Vivek. Oh my gosh, that was such a beautiful place. Um, hopefully uh, there is the Redoran town. I'm just reading here. Red Mountain is inaccessible, apparently, um, which makes sense because that's the stuff that happens in the actual Morrowind game. Um, so, what else do we have? Shigarad. Um, there's a couple of places that weren't there um, in the Morrowind game, which makes perfect sense. Um, apparently, the Rethan Manor seems to exist. Um, I'm pretty sure, from memory, Rhythm Manor is the one that you create as a quest if you're part of the uh, if you're part of the Redoran clan structure. You can actually create your own little town. God, I love that quest. It's the best thing ever. Um, so maybe if housing is expanded, maybe that's something that you get to do in Barton Fell as a DLC, which they have said that they are open to the idea of having housing as part of DSL content. Oh my god, that would be so cool! Um, so... Uh, um, uh, what else? The Telvani Towers? Um, apparently, uh, very similar to the ones in Dragonborn in Skyrim, so they actually look mushroomy. Um, uh, just looking, so oh, it looks pretty damn cool! basically. Um, the Redditor specifically mentions size-wise, it's at least as big as Rothgar, probably maybe a little bit bigger. Um, biggest PvE zone. Now Rothgar is a substantial piece of questing area and it's 
outstanding. And if you haven't played Rothgar, if you haven't actually purchased that as a part of the DLC, it's absolutely worth your while. It is excellent. Even if you're PvE focused, like myself, um, Rothgar is an outstanding piece of content and you should definitely enjoy it. Um, but my heart, my heart is in Vardenfell and has always been. Um, so, anyway, let me know if you are interested and excited about a possible Vardenfell DLC. Yes, I know, Homestead hasn't even dropped yet, and yes, I've just spent the last X number of videos talking about Homestead, but I don't care. This is Vardenfell. So, big shout out to Magic in the Pact Militia for uh, letting us know about this in the first place, letting me and other militia members know, because damn, I am excited. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. That would be awesome. Please do subscribe over there for more Elder Scrolls content plus other stuff. So, super excited. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.